March 7. Moab Seduces Israel While the Israelites were camped at Acacia Grove, some of the men defiled themselves by having sexual relations with local Moabite women. These women invited them to attend sacrifices to their gods, so the Israelites feasted with them and worshipped the gods of Moab. In this way, Israel joined in the worship of Baal of Peor, causing the Lord's anger to blaze against his people. The Lord issued the following command to Moses, Seize all the ringleaders and execute them before the Lord in broad daylight, so his fierce anger will turn away from the people of Israel. So Moses ordered Israel's judges, Each of you must put to death the men under your authority who have joined in worshiping Baal of Peor. Just then, one of the Israelite men brought a Midianite woman into his tent right before the eyes of Moses and all the people, as everyone was weeping at the entrance of the tabernacle. When Phinehas, son of Eleazar and grandson of Aaron the priest, saw this, he jumped up and left the assembly. He took a spear and rushed after the man into his tent. Phinehas thrust the spear all the way through the man's body and into the woman's stomach. So the plague against the Israelites was stopped, but not before 24,000 people had died. Then the Lord said to Moses, Phinehas, son of Eleazar and grandson of Aaron the priest, has turned my anger away from the Israelites by being as zealous among them as I was. So I stopped destroying all Israel as I had intended to do in my zealous anger. Now tell him that I am making my special covenant of peace with him. In this covenant, I give him and his descendants a permanent right to the priesthood. For in his zeal for me, his God, he purified the people of Israel, making them right with me. The Israelite man killed with the Midianite woman was named Zimri, son of Salu, the leader of a family from the tribe of Simeon. The woman's name was Kazbai. She was the daughter of Zer, the leader of a Midianite clan. Then the Lord said to Moses, Attack the Midianites and destroy them, because they assaulted you with deceit and tricked you into worshipping Baal of Peor, and because of Kazbai, the daughter of a Midianite leader, who was killed at the time of the plague because of what happened at Peor. Israel's Second Census After the plague had ended, the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, From the whole community of Israel, record the names of all the warriors by their families. List all the men twenty years old or older who are able to go to war. So there, on the plains of Moab, beside the Jordan River, across from Jericho, Moses and Eleazar the priest issued these instructions to the leaders of Israel. List all the men of Israel twenty years old and older, just as the Lord commanded Moses. This is the record of all the descendants of Israel who came out of Egypt. The tribe of Reuben. These were the clans descended from the sons of Reuben, Jacob's oldest son. The Hanachite clan, named after their ancestor Hanok. The Paluite clan, named after their ancestor Palu. The Hezronite clan, named after their ancestor Hezron. The Carmite clan, named after their ancestor Carmi. These were the clans of Reuben. Their registered troops numbered 43,730. Palu was the ancestor of Eliab, and Eliab was the father of Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. This Dathan and Abiram are the same community leaders who conspired with Korah against Moses and Aaron, rebelling against the Lord. But the earth opened up its mouth and swallowed them with Korah, and fire devoured 250 of their followers. This served as a warning to the entire nation of Israel. However, the sons of Korah did not die that day. The tribe of Simeon. These were the clans descended from the sons of Simeon. The Jemuelite clan, named after their ancestor Jemuel. The Jamanite clan, named after their ancestor Jamin. The Jaconite clan, named after their ancestor Jacon. The Zoharite clan, named after their ancestor Zohar. The Shawlite clan, named after their ancestor Shawl. These were the clans of Simeon. Their registered troops numbered 22,200. The tribe of Gad. These were the clans descended from the sons of Gad. The Zephonite clan, named after their ancestor Zephon. The Haggite clan, named after their ancestor Haggai. The Shunite clan, named after their ancestor Shunai. The Oznite clan, named after their ancestor Oznai. The Arite clan, named after their ancestor Arai. The Erodite clan, named after their ancestor Erodai. The Aralite clan, named after their ancestor Aralai.
These were the clans of Gad. Their registered troops numbered 40,500. The tribe of Judah. Judah had two sons, Ur and Onan, who had died in the land of Canaan. These were the clans descended from Judah's surviving sons. The Shelanite clan, named after their ancestor Shelah. The Perizzite clan, named after their ancestor Perez. The Zerahite clan, named after their ancestor Zira. These were the subclans descended from the Perizzites. The Hezronites, named after their ancestor Hezron. The Hamelites, named after their ancestor Hamel. These were the clans of Judah. Their registered troops numbered 76,500. The tribe of Issachar. These were the clans descended from the sons of Issachar. The Tolaite clan, named after their ancestor Tola. The Puite clan, named after their ancestor Pua. The Jashubite clan, named after their ancestor Jashub. The Shimronite clan, named after their ancestor Shimron. These were the clans of Issachar. Their registered troops numbered 64,300. The tribe of Zebulun. These were the clans descended from the sons of Zebulun. The Seredite clan, named after their ancestor Sered. The Elanite clan, named after their ancestor Elon. The Jalilite clan, named after their ancestor Jalil. These were the clans of Zebulun. Their registered troops numbered 60,500. The tribe of Manasseh. Two clans were descended from Joseph through Manasseh and Ephraim. These were the clans descended from Manasseh. The Macarite clan, named after their ancestor Maker. The Gileadite clan, named after their ancestor Gilead, Maker's son. These were the sub-clans descended from the Gileadites. The Izerites, named after their ancestor Izer. The Helakites, named after their ancestor Helak. The Azraelites, named after their ancestor Azrael. The Shechemites, named after their ancestor Shechem. The Shemitaites, named after their ancestor Shemida. The Hepharites, named after their ancestor Hepher. One of Hepher's descendants, Zelophehad, had no sons, but his daughter's names were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. These were the clans of Manasseh. Their registered troops numbered 52,700. The tribe of Ephraim. These were the clans descended from the sons of Ephraim. The Shuthalaite clan, named after their ancestor Shuthala. The Becherite clan, named after their ancestor Becher. The Tehanite clan, named after their ancestor Tehan. This was the sub-clan descended from the Shuthalahites. The Aaronites, named after their ancestor Aaron. These were the clans of Ephraim. Their registered troops numbered 32,500. These clans of Manasseh and Ephraim were all descendants of Joseph. The tribe of Benjamin. These were the clans descended from the sons of Benjamin. The Belaite clan, named after their ancestor Bela. The Ashbelite clan, named after their ancestor Ashbel. The Ahiramite clan, named after their ancestor Ahiram. The Shufamite clan, named after their ancestor Shufam. The Hufamite clan, named after their ancestor Hufam. These were the subclans descended from the Belaites. The Ardites, named after their ancestor Ard. The Naamites, named after their ancestor Naaman. These were the clans of Benjamin. Their registered troops numbered 45,600. The tribe of Dan. These were the clans descended from the sons of Dan. The Shuamite clan, named after their ancestor Shuham. These were the Shuamite clans of Dan. Their registered troops numbered 64,400. The tribe of Asher. These were the clans descended from the sons of Asher. The Imnite clan, named after their ancestor Imna. The Ishvite clan, named after their ancestor Ishvi. The Berite clan, named after their ancestor Beriah. These were the subclans descended from the Berites. The Heberites, named after their ancestor Heber. The Melchielites, named after their ancestor Melchiel. Asher also had a daughter named Sira. These were the clans of Asher. Their registered troops numbered 53,400. The tribe of Naphtali. These were the clans descended from the sons of Naphtali. The Jazielite clan, named after their ancestor Jaziel. The Gunite clan, named after their ancestor Gunai. The Jezerite clan, named after their ancestor Jezer. 
the Shilamite clan, named after their ancestor Shilam. These were the clans of Naphtali. Their registered troops numbered 45,400. The Census Results In summary, the registered troops of all Israel numbered 601,730. Then the Lord said to Moses, Divide the land among the tribes, and distribute the grants of land in proportion to the tribes' populations, as indicated by the number of names on the list. Give the larger tribes more land and the smaller tribes less land, each group receiving a grant in proportion to the size of its population. But you must assign the land by lot and give land to each ancestral tribe according to the number of names on the list. Each grant of land must be assigned by lot among the larger and smaller tribal groups. The Tribe of Levi This is the record of the Levites who were counted according to their clans. The Gershonite clan, named after their ancestor Gershon. The Kohathite clan, named after their ancestor Kohath. The Mirarite clan, named after their ancestor Mirari. The Libnites, the Hebronites, the Malites, the Mushites, and the Korahites were all subclans of the Levites. Now Kohath was the ancestor of Amram, and Amram's wife was named Jochebed. She was also a descendant of Levi, born among the Levites in the land of Egypt. Amram and Jochebed became the parents of Aaron, Moses, and their sister Miriam. To Aaron were born Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they burned before the Lord the wrong kind of fire, different than he had commanded. The men from the Levite clans who were one month old or older numbered 23,000, but the Levites were not included in the registration of the rest of the people of Israel because they were not given an allotment of land when it was divided among the Israelites. So these are the results of the registration of the people of Israel as conducted by Moses and Eleazar the priest on the plains of Moab beside the Jordan River across from Jericho. Not one person on this list had been among those listed in the previous registration taken by Moses and Aaron in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, They will all die in the wilderness. Not one of them survived except Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, son of Nun.